What's going on you guys? Welcome back to the channel in another video. I am so happy to finally be done with my online course. The family over here has been working long hours over here trying to get our online course out for you guys, but it's it's over two and a half hours of video. Man, it's a good course. Uh, I will have it in the description for you to check it out. I also have a link in my community post kind of telling you all about it, but it's just me basically taking you through the entire process of what you need and how to accomplish your pours with three different mediums, how to make your own glue medium, how to clean the oil off the canvas, how to varnish, how to finish, how to store. It's got everything. So with that, we're going to be doing a flip cup today. I'm using Artist Loft paints and Artist Loft pouring medium. Uh, Artist Loft pouring medium mixed two parts pouring medium to one part paint. I have two drops of my OGX coconut milk hair serum in each color. And this is the colors we're working with. I have a titanium white, fluorescent pink, violet, phthalo blue, cerulean blue, 12 by 12 canvas. You need five ounces of paint to cover that. So we have our five ounce cup. I will have leftover paint at the end, but that's what we're working with. So how's everybody doing today? I hope you guys are doing amazing. I'm having a great day. Whew. We've been running and running and running, trying to get this course out to you guys and trying to make sure it's like a good, solid course for you guys. And I'm very happy to say that now it is done and we can finally relax, pump the brakes a little bit and get back to pouring and just having a good time interacting with you guys. I think it was two days ago here in Phoenix. We had some pretty wicked downpour. It was awesome. We definitely needed that. It was really nice to get a good, a good rain. Kind of cooled everything off. So I'm doing like I typically do. I am layering dark to light and then doing it again, repeating the process. I'm not really layering them in any specific way, but you do see I am using very thin layers of paint. Because the thinner the layers of paint I use, the better the bullseye cells will look because they will be much smaller and have a lot more uh, rings of color in them. My white seems to want to churn through. I'm trying to, well, I'm gonna let this blue churn just a little bit. And that was a dark color. I'm gonna let the white turn through the dark blue. And we got Buddy over here. He's just looking for a spot on the table he can jump up. I'm gonna let this pink push through those layers a little bit too. Let's go back to the white. But no, it just feels great being back. I know I haven't published for a while, but man. Feels really good having that part complete and ready for you guys. So if you get a chance to check it out, you won't be disappointed. It's formatted in a way that you guys will feel like you're just sitting in the room with me and learning, you know, side by side. We are, oh, there's Buddy. Hello, Buddy. Are you trying to be covered in paint today? I think he is. All right, let's get back to these blues. I'm so excited to see what this is gonna look like because the pinks and blues together just create some really cool colors. And I'm just alternating my dark and light. But question for you guys where in the world are you watching this video from i always like seeing those comments and and seeing where everybody in the world is at some of you guys are in australia and britain canada like all over the united states i really like seeing those so where in the world are you watching this video from right now all right we are reaching the end of our colors so maybe I didn't mix up too much more than I needed. Got a 
little bit of that violet left. I think we have quite a bit of the pink left though. So we're just gonna layer that on there. And our white, just a touch of it there. All right. And we're gonna do our little splat flip. Ooh. Well, the cup's kind of moving on its own right now. And then I have some titanium white here mixed that has no oil in it at all. So I'm just gonna add a little bit because we didn't have quite five ounces. And this should give us our five ounces. I am gonna spread it a little bit towards the corners because the corners are the hardest part to cover. So I'll move them, some of this excess a little closer to the corner. Trying to get it damp from the paint. So that way we don't have any issues with it not wanting to move that way. Oh yeah, those are some pretty colors right there. All right, and we are ready to do our flip. Ooh, goodness, look at that. Just the cells just scream into the surface. That's so pretty. And we have a nice layer of pink right there. I like that one. I'm not gonna use a torch to try to pop those three large bubbles. I'm gonna use a, like a little poking stick that I got. Because if I use a torch and this pouring medium, it has some crazy reactions. All right, we got those. And that's the majority of the bubbles actually. There's a couple more. They're coming to the surface. So I'm gonna take my heat gun to it, see what kind of cells we can generate before the stretch. Just lightly going over it with just a little bit of heat. This thing has two settings. It has a high and a medium. And I normally use the, the medium setting. Because it doesn't need much. You just need a little bit of love. And that's it. Wow, that is really, really nice looking. And then we are going to stretch it. So let's get our spin going. Just a nice light spin. There's quite a bit of paint on the surface, so I do have to get some of that off of there. But yeah, those cells came out really nice. Wow. All right, and then normally after my stretch, I will warm up the surface of the paint again to generate cells within the cells. So we'll see what we can get going in this. It'll make smaller cells because the cells we created last time have stretched and now they're larger. I don't know, this looks like a ton of jawbreakers to me. What do you guys see when you look at it? We're getting tons of little bullseye cells, but it, it seriously looks like jawbreakers, like candy. That is gorgeous, I love that. Well, dang. All right, y'all, well, I'm gonna bring you guys down. We're gonna check this thing out, and then we will see the dry version of it at the end. All right, so we have some really nice looking cells going through this thing. And I'm going to stick to it, though. They look like jawbreakers to me. Like if you bite the jawbreaker in half, that's what they look like. But I'm curious, what, what do you guys see when you look at this? Really cool stuff going on. Can't wait to see it dry. So now it is completely dry and it dried really well. We have still really nice bullseye cells throughout. I am 
very, very happy with the way this ended up. Really love those pops of fluorescent pink throughout. If you want to watch another video just like this, click the screen right now and I'll see you there.